Welcome back guys to another video. So today my plans are to install my double din stereo that I have upstairs. Well, it's in the truck now and take off the old one and I'll show you guys and walk around the truck. A little more of other things that I did like two days ago or during this weekend. I did a couple other things that I'll show you and just to walk around about the whole truck. Since a lot of you guys have been asking me like the color, like how my suspension is, like this and that. So I'll try to explain every little thing. But right now I'm gonna head over to the garage and start taking the old stereo off and connecting the wires from the double din to make sure everything's fine and then if everything's fine and it turns on and has power, then I'm gonna solder everything and heat shrink so it's all perfect, not no just electrical tape, cheap way, but might as well get it done perfect and just not worry about any shortage and stuff like that. So I'm gonna head over to the garage and I'll start there. truck right now I made it I'm at the garage where I'm gonna be working on my truck um, so in order to take the old one out I'll show you <clears throat> I have this one this pioneer so in order to take this one out you have to take this whole housing off literally I think you just pull it that's what I did I don't know if I broke it already before but this comes off like that make sure you disconnect these wires or whatever and then there should be there's one screw here and one there and then this whole thing will come out. There's two more but I only have those two but I'm going to check the wires and stuff after I take it off. See if this, this double in fits. That's the one I'm going to be installing and here's the harness for the double in. It was, uh, my uncle gave it to me, I don't know what exactly it was in but here's a harness I believe that will connect to the other wires. I'm going to see if it works. First, I'm just gonna, you know, just put them together, just like, just put the wires together and see if it, if it turns on, then I'm gonna start soldering everything on it. So instead of soldering first, I wanna make sure that it works before I start soldering. But let me get that started and then I'll show you guys this once it's out. So I took the old one off, it's over here. It's, it works good, I just would rather prefer a doubled in, but this show was worth, it, it was like, Super good, it came with the truck when my uncle sold it to me. And this is the wiring, whoever did this last did it. It's really, really shitty. Like, half of this shit's like all mixed up, I don't even know what the hell. Like this is, makes no sense, like how these things are wired. I'm surprised like this truck even ran with the stereo it had. But I'm gonna clean this up. Um, put the new, the other wiring harness over here and fucking get that shit perfect. So that I don't have a mess like this and struggling with what is what. But I'm going to get that started and I just don't want to bore you guys so much. So I'm going to get that connected and see if it turns on. Alright, so I finished like soldering and, and like heat shrinking and all the wires. I made sure everything was like perfect 100% because I'm not doing this all over again. And I don't want it to be like a crappy job. And that's how I, like everything I do is I kind of try to do like as best as I can. And this I just... Make sure I heat shrinked it and stuff, but here's how it looks. Like here are all the wires. Hold on, focus. Alright, so these ones are like all extra. So I just wrapped them in electrical tape and then this these are all heat shrinked, all these ones, as you can tell here. And then this how they they did them over there or whoever did them. I don't really like going with these. I'd rather just have them heat shrink so it's better. So I like just extended the wires longer so I have more room to take it out. And I put the brackets, these brackets are off of this, my old stereo that's back there. I just screwed them in and it goes right in now, so it's perfect. And then these are for my subs right here. So uh, let's see if it turns on. Power. Works. There's power. And it's charging my phone. So it works. Let me pause this before 
I get demonetized for having music in the background, but that's what I did and that's it worked, you know, so I'm happy with everything I did. Like here's all the extra wires that I had to deal with. And then my solder gun that I used. But yeah, that's gonna be it for like everything inside. And then I'm gonna do a walk around of what I've been doing to the truck. So I'm gonna finish this up, make sure it's all put back together. And then I'm gonna pop my hood up and show you some things that I don't think a lot of people have done or that I've seen, but I'll show you guys. So it's installed, everything's put back together. USB runs fits in here to the phone now. And that's about it. That's everything. All right, so get out and show you what I was talking about. Ignore the mess. Valve cover. So the other day, I was doing some work on my upper control arms. So I had more room once I took the wheel off to cut this hole bigger so once I run my tubs there's room now so something I wanted to show you guys was if you notice something different about that upper control arm I don't recommend this but for purposes of what I needed for it works for me I'm not sure if it's safe to do that or not but uh, I wanted to try it out to see if it worked or not so the purpose I flipped upper control arms and flipped the ball joints was for when I lay out, when I completely air out. Once it's laid out, uh, the wheel will tuck in more. So there'll be more camber when it's laid out. Not when you're driving, you don't see a big difference when you're driving. There's not a big difference unless you're like laying frame and stuff like, um, like I am right now. But on this side, I did it as well. But since it's not cut out like the other side over here, it's not letting the wheel completely go up and in because the wheel well is preventing it from going up any higher. So that's another reason why I have to relocate the battery to the bed. I tried doing it the other day, but I ran into problems of wires being too long and having to like rewire them to the back. So I'm going to do that another day when it's not raining and I have enough time. So I won't worry about rushing stuff. So it's perfect. And once I do that, I need to relocate some stuff just move them up move them out of the way so i cut the hole so i have that even even um camber on both sides because this side has less camber when it's laid out and the other side has like a lot but barely a difference but that's what i did and that's pretty much it and a lot of people ask me about my rims they're just 17 by 8 and the tire size i'm running are 205 40 r 17 so these are 17s um yes i'm missing a lug nut because the people at the shop put the lug nut on the gun and then drilled it in so they cross threaded it so also i'm missing a lug nut on this side and the other side so i learned my lesson not to go back to that shop i redid my exhaust so he raised it we rubbed it and put a cat on it and straight shoots almost behind the bed um but that's about it everything i've really done to it here's the old radio probably gonna sell this one since it's still good i just wanted doubled in and not really much to the truck fix the bumper because it was sagging up a bit and then i redid my logos for my instagram and the youtube channel right there but I'm going to be making a new center console that runs all the way forward. So stay tuned for that. Power windows. Another video is coming out soon for that. Uh, the sunroof. I don't really know a lot about it. My friends did it for me. I didn't install it or anything. So they did everything for me. I, I just asked them that I wanted one and they got it for me. And yeah, that's about it. Here's the, the valve cover painted and stuff. It's pretty good now. Another thing, if you guys could help me, is I want to get rid of this intake box. This whole big ass thing that's in the way. I want to add in a S13 single cam intake. I don't know if I found one, but I'm not sure of how it's going to work and all these hoses and how to actually like make it work. So let me know. DM me or in the comments below, let me know if you guys know how to do that. Because I really want to 
take this out so it eliminates a lot of more room so it's just more like in this section and not going past that way so the wheel well could have more room so when i cut it and relocate some stuff but let me know if you guys know anything about that because i've been dying to know how to do that and i've only seen like two or two other people that i've seen them do it and i really want to do that so i could eliminate some room that's not necessary like this isn't this takes a lot of room and I want to remove it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But so this is everything I wanted to do for today. My stereo, I doubled in. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know it's a short video. I didn't want to, you know, explain everything about how I soldered because it's kind of explanatory. I had to install radio. Just got to match the wires up and stuff like that. And let me know what you guys think. And I'll be uploading another video soon because I need to relocate the battery and do other things to it. And let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys on the next one.